this is the image you see out of this camera here. The GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black. Uh, as you can see, the um, colors are completely messed up. Green and purple. Uh, this camera seems to be giving uh, most of these problems in conditions of low light. Currently we are indoors and uh, we are only using artificial light. Uh, so that's basically the type of thing you see. I've seen many other videos uh, online of other people having similar problems with their GoPro cameras. Uh, most of them not as bad as this one, but um, they do show vertical lines, colors that uh, come and go, uh, green, purple, and uh, after doing a little bit of research, I think that this problem is related to the fact that the light sensor is gone. Uh, these light sensors, CCD sensors, can um, you know deteriorate and eventually fail. Uh, so I've ordered a new one, and I'm gonna sub substitute it on this camera. I'm gonna show you how that that is done. And uh, um, yeah, hopefully that will solve the problem. We will see. So let's let's get started. Right. So I've bought this online on eBay uh, for about uh, um, around 25, 27 pounds. And uh, I've checked and double checked, and I'm pretty sure this is the correct sensor, CCD sensor for the uh, camera in question. Um, you can find uh, several other sensors for um, other GoPro models. Uh, it actually wasn't too difficult to find the correct one. So basically um, for this camera here, so on this side you will see that this, uh, um, this part over here is attached to a flexible end. Uh, this is the plug that actually goes and plugs itself into the camera um, motherboard, so to speak, the main board, chipboard. This one over here, this one, is the actual um, light sensor, okay? So this actually goes right behind the actual lens of the camera. Now, I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to show you how do you open the camera in order to substitute the sensor. Okay, so here we have the camera. Um, as you might notice, I've already slightly pried the uh, front cover off. This one comes off quite easily uh, with, the, I honestly, I did it with my own nails. Um, if you've got strong nails, then you can do it with that. Um, obviously, the nail is soft enough not to damage the plastics. Otherwise, just use maybe um, a thin plastic, um, hard plastic, I guess, I don't know, maybe something like an old credit card or things like this should definitely assist you. There are also um, specific tools for it, but uh, I didn't want to bother, I didn't need. Um, before you actually pry this off, uh, you should be removing the battery. So, well, the battery is just easy to remove, there's a clip there and you just... come out right so there's a cover first and then the battery should be easy enough to get out okay battery out obviously the camera was off uh, okay, so at this point, we're just gonna uh, finish prying this off properly, completely. There are some obviously some clips on the sides. Just have to make a little bit of pressure there. There we go. Okay, so there are there is some sticking, sticky stuff, some glue, mm. but uh, yeah, I mean, just helps keep everything together. I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm not really gonna bother with that. 
Right, so once you have moved that out, you will see there is already a screw out here because obviously I had opened this camera in the past before this right there. Um, I'm just gonna um, unscrew, there's four screws on the sides. These are um, star type screws, sorry, cross type, but I don't know the exact name, sorry about that. I've got some, I've got a cheap set here of screwdrivers that um, uh, I'm using to do this job. It works pretty well. It's not the ideal sizes, but it works for me. Um, of course, if you've got more uh, uh, specific tools, uh, more uh, professional kit, it's gonna, be, it's gonna help you, but these screws are, in any case, coming out with relative ease. So I'm happy with that. Let's keep the screws in their place. Coming out quite easily. Um, I know that other models, um, I've done a bit of research and I know that other models of um, GoPro might actually have different types of screws. The, the system seems to be similar in the way that it's uh, all assembled, but they do have different types of screws, maybe like, you know, star-shaped, torque type. This is gonna have to be something that you need to research on the specific type of camera you have. Okay, so once the screws are out, you want to use maybe a slightly bigger screwdriver, flat screwdriver. And basically you will see that uh, at some points, like here, there are some gaps that actually allow you to sort of like leverage the whole thing out. So you just do a little bit on each side, slowly gently to you know obviously being careful making sure that you're not damaging anything there we go so it, as it comes out this is what it looks like on the inside now there is this part here This one is basically connecting the battery, if I'm correct, the battery, uh, let's say, contacts to the main board, all right? So this actually, you can pull this up and that should un unblock and allow you to actually pull the contact out, here we go, quite easily so you can work more easily with the actual board here. Put this on the side. All right, at this point, this bit is exactly the sensor that we were looking for. This is what we are looking to change. Once again, there are some cross type screws there, which do also come out relatively easily. As you can see, one, Two, three, four. All right, so once again, we like the screws. Without losing them. Now, as soon as you remove these four screws, this comes off quite easily, all right? Um, as you can see, the, um, 
the wires connect to the main board through this shiny little bit here. So that's, you know, if you want, you can go very, very carefully, just, you know, pry it off very gently, and it does come out quite easily, just pops out like that. So this is the old sensor, and this is the new sensor. They're exactly the same, as far as I can see. Now, without confusing them, I put the old one away and try and put the new one. Now, the this part, the wire part, you know, I might want to just, you know, kind of soften up a bit because it, it has to take a bit of a different shape. Of course, delicately. Right, so um, now we are going to just try to, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to first plug this, okay, and then I'm just going to, you know, kind of try to shape this wires here to then uh, fit the, the sensor where, it's, where it belongs. Okay, so let's give it a try. Think that was a good sign. It's either that it clicked in or that I broke something. But I heard a click. Okay, so now that's connected. What I have to do, I just have to now screw this one on exactly where the other one was. So take these tiny screws here. They're really tiny, very tiny. One is in. seem to be snug enough. Right, once this is done, you can actually start reassembling the whole thing. I'm very curious to see if this whole thing is gonna work. So, let's put it back together. So this little tongue here needs to go inside of that white bit. I don't know how much of it you can see. Right there. Right there. This goes inside there. Probably, I don't know how much you can see, but anyways, it's pretty straightforward. You will notice when you open your own camera. Okay, so it it's, goes inside like that. And then there is a small little piece of plastic there, black, that kind of wobbles. That one has to be, once you've made sure that the connector has gone all the way through, this one has to be clipped down. Here we go. I think that it kind of like holds the holds the connector in place. Okay, once that's done, you just carefully close it. Here we go. Close it and that's it. Right, so once you have uh, uh, put the main case, the, the board, the, the main circuit into the case, of course it's the reverse of the steps as before, so you're gonna have to um, put the screws back in.
right so all, all the screws are in now and um, so it's just a matter of pushing the front cover back in and uh, it's really 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 simple there we go voila all done all done so the um, yeah the job is done let's go test the camera now okay so this is the image from the camera once ch uh, change the sensor as you can see it's looking perfect that's Cristiana that's the road that's me so successful job well done if you have any questions put it in the comments below